Every Sunday in the tree shade of a park in West Beijing, they are meeting still hundreds of Chinese students and workers who, in spite of the government's crackdown on openness of expression, hold weekly discussions in English at a meeting place that over the past few years has come to be known as English Corner. Uh, I come here to practice English. Among themselves, the English-speaking Chinese and some visitors talk freely about a wide range of topics, including politics. But many Chinese who agreed to be interviewed on Western television did so on the grounds their names and faces not be shown. A factory worker was recently sentenced to 10 years in prison for doing an interview with ABC TV. In China, you know, we have no freedom of speech. Sometimes it is very dangerous. I have not, I have not, I have no right to say anything in political. You have no right no. to say anything political. No, no, you know, for for Chinese people now saying anything about political is dangerous. Many of these Chinese dream of one day going to live and work or study in America. If we go to the United States, we um, we can have more freedom to talk about the country, to speak out our opinion, and so on. And here, you know, now, I'm very nervous. Too. Others, both students and workers, hope to continue pushing for reforms in China. For well, the ordinary workers, we don't want too much. We just want work and have a work paid. Some hope the language skills sharpened at English Corner will enable them to become effective trading partners with American businessmen. Well, I, I think I have the high advantage of doing business with your country. For many, the hope is for something more basic. Democracy, for freedom, for prosperity. A bright future for China. Uh, freedom to speak, freedom to sing. And even after what happened at Tiananmen Square, they say time is on their side. Many Chinese no longer doubt China will one day have democracy. The only question they say is when. Some believe soon after the death of Chinese leader Deng Xiaoping, now in his early 80s. And keeping the hope for democracy alive is the fact that while the gatherings at Tiananmen Square did not survive the crackdown, the gatherings at English Corner so far have. Taylor Henry, CNN, Beijing.